Hello, everybody. I'm Scott Fryman, and I'm here to teach you about the wonderful world of Beat Detective. Now, Beat Detective is a great tool for helping you improve the timing of a live performance or make your loops fit the groove of a live drummer or vice versa. It's one of three ways we have of changing the timing of your audio in Pro Tools. We can do it manually, cutting, slicing, and moving audio. We can do it with Beat Detective, and we can do it with Elastic Audio. All of these work not only with percussion and drums, but with any type of audio, such as guitars or vocals. Now, in this course, we're going to be spending most of our time on Beat Detective, but I do want to give you a quick overview of all three methods so you can see the different options that are available. I've got a simple example here. We've got a loop and a pretty sloppy drummer. Here's the loop. And here's the drummer. And together, what a mess. So we need to clean up the timing here. The first way we can do it is manually. We can slice up the audio and slide it where we want it. Now I've got some grid markers that I'm showing here. And you can see, for example, right here, this is a snare hit. And here is my second beat. The loop lines up perfectly. Unfortunately, the drums don't line up. So we have to move this. So the way I'm going to do that is set tab to transient, which is this button up here, tab over to the transient and press B, which is my command focus key for separate. I'll then tab to the next transient and separate that. Then I will take my grabber and drag this file over to line up with the second beat. I'll then extend out the beginning. I'll extend out the beginning of this side put some crossfades in, and now the snare hit lines up perfectly with the same hit in the loop. I've gone ahead and sliced up the file, and you can see a couple different slices, a couple different hits that I moved, and now let's see what it sounds like. Much improved. But now let's do that same thing, this time using Beat Detective. I'm back to my original audio. We're going to choose Beat Detective, which brings up this little window. And don't worry about exactly what I'm doing here. We've got the whole course to spend time on all of the functions of this very complex tool. I'm going to capture my selection, and then I'm going to analyze it and put in markers for each of the transients. Each of these purple lines is where Beat Detective thinks there is a significant hit and it did a pretty good job. So now I'm going to tell it to separate each of those purple lines into separate regions and conform them to my bars and beats and finally edit them so that all of these gaps are taken out and crossfades are put in. And now here's what we have. Look how fast I was able to do that. Pretty darn nice. Now I'm going to consolidate all of these little files by pressing Shift Option 3 and then use my loop trimmer to drag this out so we have a nice four bar loop. Let's shrink these down and bring in a guitar. Now this guitar has a little problem. If you look, you'll see it is ending prior to the end of the fourth bar. And I happen to know it's a four bar loop. So what to do? Well. Let me show you what it sounds like the way it is. Way off. It was recorded at a different tempo. So I'm going to turn this file into an elastic audio file. And using my TCE, or Time Compression Expansion Trimmer, I'm going to drag it out to four measures. And now... Pretty darn close. Let's add in a bass, and you'll see right away there's a problem with the bass. Now the bass is aligned with my fourth measure, but when I play it, something is wrong. Ah, it's in the wrong key. So thank goodness Elastic Audio is here to rescue us. We simply put it in polyphonic Elastic Audio mode, 
and we tell Elastic Audio to raise the pitch of this bass by two semitones or one whole note. That's all there is to it. And now, So you can see how wonderful it can be to use Beat Detective and Elastic Audio to clean up a really messy song. And all of these, Manual, Beat Detective, and Elastic Audio, all of these ways of manipulating audio are all useful to have in your arsenal. Now, there are cases when you might use one, two, or all three of these methods. In the remainder of this course, I'll be focusing on Beat Detective, but please check out my Elastic Audio course at macprovideo.com to learn about Elastic Audio. Okay, Beat Detective, here we come. <laughs> 